I went to the Long Island TCG show, which was actually held in a beautiful Hilton. As you may know, I have a goal of reaching $10,000 in Pokemon card sales this year. And since I've never worked in sales before, what a better way to get more comfortable talking to collectors than to go to my very first trading card show. Now going into this, I do know a couple of the vendors that are going to have table space, so let's make my first visit of the day to Island Collect, who goes by Vintage Packs on Instagram. He is doing a sale involving bulk slabs, but a lot of it got cleared out before the event even started by another vendor. So let's see if I can take advantage of the fact that he has less of a quantity of cards at this point. You have four for one, but since it's light, would you do three and one free? Or no? Yeah, sure. Yeah, cool. I, I Especially mean, for you, I know you're trying to get the value up. <laughs> Yeah, so you buy these three, get this one free? Yeah, yeah the 18 months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's as what long I've as that's cool it. The cheapest one. Yeah, yeah, no, that, I figured that. 100%, I'll do it. Cool, awesome. It's 85, right, that's math? Yeah, 85. Now, I haven't mentioned this yet, but I showed up to this event with $205 in my pocket and all of the cards that I had for sale that weren't set aside for grading to see how much product we can buy and sell. Now with the first purchase out of the way, I can make my way over to a table which was actually being held by B Mills Collectibles. Funny enough, I've known him since high school and he was interested in some of the cards that I had brought. So as he looked through them, we were able to finally do some of my own sales. Back in Jordan, it's like three versions. I don't know. I didn't look just up prices. I, I know, I you know what? I, I put it in the TCG player and then I kind of just like put them into the box and I was like, eh, I probably won't even sell them today. And now like I want to buy other stuff. So it's like, it's so hard not to. I know. I just bought that graded too. I, you know, that's the one with the whitening on the back. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So that's like a binder copy yeah. if you want to. Now, obviously I did not pay for a vendor's booth. So I know that I'm going to be selling these cards for under market value, but these cards are part of a collection that I've already made my money back on. So this is all just extra icing on the cake so I can invest into new cards here. I see it at 40, would you do 30? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I see it's like 25 for the VMAX, 15 for the, uh, for the base. You said how much for both? For uh, 30 for both. 30 for both? Yeah. Okay. All these? All mine done. I'll take these. It is. Like, Those two? It's, it's uh, four. So four and five. five. Yes, so nine total. 22. For all of them? Yeah. All right. So like 52. 52? For like everything. Okay. Cool. And then... I've just been meaning to stock up on trainer galleries and I yeah, just yeah. haven't. And I'm like, this is probably the best time to do it. Yeah, you know, I, I, well, I got a bunch, so... Yeah. Um, what were you doing on the Simister V-Star, the PSA 10? Oh, yes, yes. Um, 65. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even, even want to look it up. I'm yeah, sure you did your yeah. research. You're here. I had two of them, so... Can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I had to do a halftime for lunch, so I actually picked up Wendy's and I was gonna eat inside, but it's just like the music's too loud, there's too many people in there, whatever. But so far, this has actually been crazy. So obviously I brought some cards to trade and whatnot and to sell on my own. So as of right now, I brought $205. I meant to bring 200 but I had an extra five dollars in my wallet and right now I have a hundred and sixty five dollars worth of graded cards which I mean honestly these are just really beautiful cards so I was really happy to pick up the Simis here because I never pulled it and like I really wanted to get it graded because it's so beautiful so to have it is awesome see obviously we did the deal where we had the buy three get one free which was awesome and you did see me selling like all of the cards that I had for sale and like for trade and whatnot. And actually off camera, I did sell like a good amount of it. Of course, it's gonna come flying out now. But I basically sold a good amount of the bulk and trainers. So it was about $130 worth of cards. And I traded it for a PSA 9 Charizard from Celebrations and a Koga's Machamp, like a holographic uh, Japanese card. Now, the reason I did this is because if I were to buy the Charizard on its own, I believe they go for about $50 to $60. Then you'd have to have the grading fee just for it to potentially come back between an eight through 10. You're spending like $75-ish to do it anyway. And this is an $80 card in a nine. So right now with bad math, that's like $235 worth of cards. I came in with $205 and I still have $126 in my pocket. And I have some cards to move if I want to. Yeah, I just needed a half time because it was so overwhelming. We have so much stuff and there's so much potential to do more. So let me uh, enjoy my food. And after a nice reset, I knew it was time to go visit my friend Shulpoke to test my luck. Um, you sold off that Venus one before? The one from uh, 151? Yeah, I did. Dang, I was, I was looking at that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> um, what do I gotta do to get a spin on the wheel? 
20 bucks. Just 20 bucks spent or $20 to do it? $20 to spin it. All right, cool. I'm gonna take a spin. All right. And then definitely want the larger form Dialga. The Squirtle and the Bulbasaur, the Japanese ones. I'll do 15 for both. 15 for I think that's a good one. I'm not too sure what they... I know people are selling them for like 10 or 15 a piece, but they're Japanese, so they have to be a little cheaper. But yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do 15 for the two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably hold on to them for a bit. So. Yeah. All right, so 15, 35, so that's... 50? 50, plus the spin is 70. 70. And uh, you know what? I actually want the Pikachu, too. I don't really deal with much Japanese, so I want to I wanna get some. Yeah, no, 25, but I'll do 20. Okay, so then that's 85 total with a spin. Yes, right? I think. I'll, I mean, do math because I can do that. 35, 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90. 90. 90. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, definitely. I've gotten all graded today. So like uh, to get this and is sick. Yo! What's up? All right, let's get it. Which way? This way? Any way you want. Feels bisexual. Let's get it. it oh, Lost Origins hey! TV. <laughs> there you let's go, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> what a spin. And now that we're at the end of this show, I'm actually down to my last $36. And I'm trying to use this show as a way to get experience talking with people. So why not use this as an opportunity to try and haggle my way into a good deal? And a certain Flareon from Jungle actually caught my eye. If I shoot you an offer at it, would you consider it or no? Not right now. No, okay, yeah, it is, it is kind of low too. I, I only have like a certain amount of money on me, so. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. It's just that, uh, it's still, we still got a few hours to go and like, like those cars always move around. I'll get and with that strikeout, I moved on to the next pair of cards I wanted to see. I had a question. I wanted to get the Nido King and the Mewtwo, the Japanese one. Yeah. Um, I got $36 on me. Would you do it for that? It's uh, 40 together. This one? Yes. And then this one? Yes. You said how much? You got 36? 36. Yeah, awesome. Do you want to count that part? Should be. I want to take a picture real quick so I know myself. Yeah, for sure. You're good to go. Thank you, appreciate it. And with this last transaction, I will have spent all of my $205, graded or sold about $210 worth of product, and all of my new little goodies add up to $386, plus I still have $105 worth of product that I came in with. I hope you found this helpful, and I had a really wonderful time doing all of this. And hey, I'll catch you in the next video.